Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a crochet tutorial. Um, I've been making these for a long time. They are super popular where I live. I think it's because it's something different. Um, I'm going to be doing round crochet dishcloths. I'm using, pe um, not peaches and cream, the Bernat Handicrafter yarn. And I am using a size 6.50 millimeter hook or a K. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not because I can't get my camera to focus properly. But anyways, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a slip knot. So I'm going to put my yarn like this. I'm going to wrap it around my two fingers and I'm going to make an X. I'm going to go underneath this first yarn, grab the second one, and pull. Just like that. Okay, now that's a slip knot. Now, you're going to chain five. So, one, two, three, four, and five. And then you are going to slip stitch in that first chain. Grab your yarn and pull through both loops to make a circle in the center. So now you're going to chain up two, one, two, yarn over, double crochet into the circle. You want to make 10 double or 12, sorry, 12 double crochets into the middle. So I have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And then you're going to go into that first double crochet right there and you want to slip stitch to join. Okay, so now this little tail, just pull on that a bit and it'll close up that hole. Okay, so now for round two, you are just going to chain up one, double crochet into the same stitch as your chain up one or chain up two I'm sorry okay and then double crochet two times into every stitch around two double crochet next one one and two all right my yarn is starting to get all tangled up. Okay, so you want to put two double crochets in every stitch around. When I'm done that, I will meet you up and we'll go on to round three. Okay, so now we are done. We're coming, just coming to the end of round two. So now you want to go to this very top of your first chain, or not first chain, the top of your chain up two, sorry, okay? So you want to put your crochet hook in there, grab your yarn, pull through both to join. Okay, so round three, you're going to chain up two put one double crochet into the same stitch as your chain up two. So then you have two. 
So then in your next chain, you're going to put one double crochet. And then in your next stitch, you're going to put two double crochets. And in your next one, you're going to put one double crochet. In your next one, you're going to put two double crochets. And then in your next one, one double crochet. And you're just going to repeat that same pattern all the way around. So one, two double crochets, one double crochet, two double crochet, one double crochet. Continue that around and I will meet you up and we will go on to round four together. Okay, so we are just coming to the end of round three. Now you just want to slip stitch to join. Okay, and this is what you have so far. Now you want to go on to round four and you're going to chain up two. Put one double crochet into that same stitch that you chained up to. Now in your next two stitches, you're going to put one double crochet in each one. Okay, so two, one, one. Then in your next stitch, you want to put two double crochets. So one and two. And then in your next chain, you're going to, or next stitch, you're going to put one double crochet. In your next stitch, one double crochet. Then in the next stitch, you're going to put two double crochets. One and two. Now in these next two, you're going to put one double crochet in each stitch. And then in the next one, you want to put two double crochets. So you're just going to repeat the pattern all the way around. So the next one will be one double crochet, one double crochet, two double crochets. One double crochet, one double crochet, two double crochets. One, one, two, one, one, two. All the way around slip stitch to join and I'll meet you back up. Okay, so I've just finished round four and now we're moving on to round five. So on round five, you're going to chain up two. You're going to put one double crochet into that same stitch. Then in your next three stitches this time, you're going to put one double crochet into each of those three sti stitches. So one, one, and one. Okay. And then in that next stitch, you're going to put two double crochets. One and two. And in the next three stitches, you're going to just put one double crochet in each of those. So one, one and one. Okay. And then in your next stitch, you want to put two double crochets into that stitch. So one and two. Okay. And then in your next three stitches, you're going to put one stitch in e or one double crochet in each of those stitches. So one, one, and one. Then in your next stitch, two double crochets into that one. One and two. Now you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around. So one double crochet, one double crochet, one double crochet, two double crochets into that next one. One, 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 two, one, 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 two. You're going to continue that all the way around and I'll meet you back up and we'll go on to the final round together. Okay, so I just completed round five. Okay, so this is your final 
round. So for the last round, you want to chain up two, one and two. Place one double crochet into that same, um, same stitch as your chain up. Okay, so then in your next four stitches, you want to do one double crochet in each of those four stitches. So, one, two, three, and four. And then in your next stitch, you want to put two double crochets into that one. So, one, go into the same stitch, and two. Now the next four stitches, you want to do one double crochet into each of those four stitches. One, two, three, and four. And then you just want to repeat that all the way around. Two stitches into this next one, or two double crochets into this next stitch. I'm sorry, I can't speak today. Okay, so you're going to just repeat that around, like I said. So two, and then one, two, three, four, like one, 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 two, one, 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 two, etc., all the way around. When you are done this, it will be about seven and a half inches wide, which is perfect for me. And um, it's it's sufficient. It's good. But if you want to, you can go one more round. And in your next round, if you haven't figured it out yet, it's a super easy pattern. So in your next round, it would be two double crochets. And then in your next five, you do one double crochet in each of those five and then two and then five you know what I mean so yeah I am going to finish this up and then I'll meet you up at the end to show you what it looks like okay so we are at the end of our last row so to tie off to finish off you are just going to slip stitch to join just like you normally would okay but then grab your yarn again and pull through that stitch one more time and just pull up a little to give yourself enough to tie in okay and then pull that tight okay so there you go there is your round crochet dishcloth and you will just you know weave these in just sew them in and then that's what the finished product looks like hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching